Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D Designer and Trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today, we'll be looking at how menu ribbons work in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2020. Menu ribbons have made their way into AutoCAD applications, as well as a lot of other Microsoft applications we work with every day. They've now become the standard for navigating programs. Let's take a closer look at how Civil 3D classifies menus for greater accessibility. Menu ribbons are a key component to the Civil 3D interface. Ribbons are now a standard feature for navigating recent versions of AutoCAD software as well as a lot of other Microsoft applications. So since we're getting more and more familiar with it, let's check out the ribbons. Now ribbons are made up of ribbon tabs. You can see up at the top here, all of these are ribbon tabs and this is the ribbon itself. So if we click on insert, we get a completely different ribbon. As well as if we click on the annotate tab, we get another ribbon, the modify tab, analyze, so on and so forth. Now each tab contains panels. So if we click on the home tab, we see our home ribbon and you can see a panel called Create Ground Data. If we click on this little arrow right here, we can see a whole other section. Panels hold unique tools related to that panel. Now these also require the proper resolution to appear properly. If not, these little icons might end up shrinking. Now the Create Design panel folds out to show additional tools that might not be used as often but they're still very very powerful. So any panel that has an arrow next to it will have additional functions listed underneath it. Now if we look at the annotate tab you'll see these little arrows off to the side. Now these arrows shown at the bottom right will feature a dialog box that can impact panel features. Now if we click on the bottom right arrow we'll get a dialog box that will of course impact most of the text functionality. So it's important to know these simple tools and tips as we walk through the ribbons in our exercises. But one of the most powerful, useful ribbon tools in Civil 3D is what's referred to as a contextual ribbon. So if I select a surface Civil 3D object, which is right here, or any other Civil 3D object, I'll get a special ribbon just to work with that Civil 3D object. In this case, because I selected a surface, all of the tools to work with that surface are now available. And it's getting me information specifically for the surface named Osceola Road. Now notice that the contextual ribbon has a blue shade around it. See this blue box? So it's easy to identify whether or not you're using a contextual ribbon. Now contextual ribbon works best when we're only selecting one object at a time. Now if we select another object, the contextual ribbon changes so it's now showing multiple objects that we're working with and will only provide us with general tools to work with multiple objects. So contextual ribbons are a powerful way to work with Civil 3D objects as we'll learn further into the class. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.